meant to do this video a long time ago and I keep forgetting so I remembered so I'm going to pull it up and do it real quick uh, let's talk a little bit about your pets for all you pet lovers out there and the question is uh, uh, do pets go to heaven call the other side uh, heaven will they be with you do they continue on will you see them again okay well first of all uh, your pets are like you they are an entity a creator God playing a role okay any pet that is really really close to you that you feel strongly uh, about is definitely one of your pub friends and what you are more likely to see is you will see the entity that played the role of your pet uh, certainly for any, any pet that dies uh, before you get to 5d very very likely that you will meet them again in their animal form but by then because you will recognize them easier that way and then they will probably morph into whatever form they would like to and have a whole conversation with you or who knows they may stay around and romp around as your pet uh, looking like your pet but the pets are creator gods just like you came in and you're in this skin suit of a human your pets came in in the skin suit of your pet but they are a creator god just like you and they uh, they're here to experience this place in whatever form that they're in uh, most people who are pet lovers you can tell those special pets that you don't know you can explain it they're just different some way and those are the ones that are your pub friends and uh, more than likely they will pass before you do because the, all the animals live a shorter lifespan most of them do so when they pass they immediately will uh, join the rest of your pub friends and watch over you and help you whenever you ask okay so yeah your pets are in good shape here guys no worries about your pets they're not going to go to a separate place where you'll never see them again no uh, they are entities just like you playing a role so who knows how you'll you guys have got a relationship and you'll continue that relationship in whatever form you've agreed to play it out as it won't stop just because they passed off of this planet it won't stop you guys have had a relationship for a long time you'll continue to do so uh, they weren't they will not go out of your life but just keep in mind that underneath that or inside of that a uh, little animal is a creator God just like you okay it's just that those um, animals rely on us a great deal and the same thing is true with plants so all of you plant lovers um, if you're out there watching and you don't speak up because the animal lovers can be very overwhelming but there are people who relate more to plants than they do animals and they have the same kind of relationship with their plants uh, the plants, on the other hand, tend to be entities that might stay much longer than you will. Um, so, you again, you will, you will see them again on the other side in plant form until you recognize them. And then they'll morph again into whatever form uh, they want to. Uh, but you'll, you'll recognize them. And there are a lot more plant lovers out there than people know about. Because a lot of the plant lovers think that people are going to consider them strange or to say that they have the same feelings for a plant that animal lovers do a lot of the plant people won't speak up but they are out there and uh, plant lovers you're not crazy um, if you can feel them communicating just like an animal lover does you're right uh, the plants do are very communicative and some of the flower flowering plants they are very talkative very very talkative very chatty <laughs> and usually any of the flowering plants especially the flowering plants they have an abundance of uh, fairies around them so yeah the more flowers the more fairies I always say even though there's fairies all over the place so anyway any of you plant lovers and or animal lovers uh, they're they're not gonna go to a separate place they are beings just like you they're just playing a different role that's all so whatever if you have a tight uh, relationship with them there's a reason for that uh, don't 
second guess yourself. You are not imagining it. It is the truth. Uh, absolutely without a doubt. Okay, so also let us cover here familiars. And if you don't know what a familiar is, then uh, just Google it and read it real quick. And familiars are very rare. Um, and they come in different different forms, I would say. Uh, some familiars are actually people like you decided to take a piece of you and put it in this particular animal. Usually it's an animal or bird. And they, if you learn to communicate with them, it, it's just like the movies. What's that movie? Beastmaster. Where he could see through the bird's eyes and you can... Um, see through their eyes, you can feel their thoughts, so to speak, and they, they used to be a lot more common than they are now, uh, because a lot more people believed in them than they do now, uh, and it, it does, you can't have a familiar if you don't believe in it, for sure, and you won't even recognize it or know it if there's one close enough to you to become a familiar, uh, but they can also be a really, really, really good friend. Uh, that comes to be your familiar, but they do absolutely exist. Uh, we have one, Stephanie has a familiar in the house, it's a cat. Uh, she's a cat, uh, she plays with fairies all the time. The, the uh, I think I've mentioned this before, but they told us that she was blind. But she's not blind, she just sees into another dimension. Uh, so she sees two dimensions at once, which is, can be kind of tricky to see both of them at once. She see, sees the fifth dimension and 3D, 4D as we move through it. And she also sees fifth dimension at the same time. So that is tricky for her. And we love her dearly, absolutely. Stephanie's had several uh, familiars. She almost always has a familiar in her life at all times. Uh, she, doesn't, if she, she doesn't do well without her familiar. But most people, especially the United States, don't believe in them, so uh, you, don't see, you don't see them very often. Sometimes there is a familiar with a person, and even if the person doesn't, isn't aware of it, uh, and they are, more, than, more of those are dogs, usually big dogs, and um, they are very protective of their humans. Very protective. And, uh, yeah, anybody that's got that kind of relationship... Uh, if you read familiars and that you recognize it, that description, more than likely you have one. You just didn't know it or were taught not to believe it, that uh, familiars are almost always associated with uh, witch, witches. And thanks to Christianity, witches and Wicca has been tied to uh, demons, which of course Wiccan people can associate with demons if they want to. But it's much more earth-based than that. It should, it's much more than that. So, yeah. What else can I tell you about your pets? Yeah. All of that stuff I said about torture, the animals that are in a tough place uh, where they're being tortured, they also will do everything I described that people will do. Pets will do it the same exact way. So any kind of torture that you see about around animals... Uh, just refer to my torture video uh, that I just put up yesterday or this morning. I'm not sure when it, it when I pushed the button to put it up when it finished, but it was either yesterday or today. So just go listen to that one and understand that all of those things are true with an animal too. And they're much more conscious than you think they are. Um, if, and they're fun, fun, fun to talk to. Fun, fun, fun to talk to. They're not going to talk to you in human words. They're going to send you blocks of thought, ideas in mass, more than likely. And so once you get, so you believe that, then you can get those thoughts. If you look into their eyes, almost always you can tell they're communicating with you. They're trying to communicate with you. Um, they know what you're saying. They, a lot of them even know what you're thinking. So uh, they get frustrated a lot of times not being able to communicate with humans. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we'll spend a video talking to y'all about 
talking to um, plants and animals better. Maybe I can go more in depth in that. Okay, so hopefully that will help all the plant and animal lovers and give a little bit of explanation. But no worries, guys, no worries. You're going to see him again. You will absolutely see him again. Okay? Huge hugs. Love you guys so much. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.